Ay, 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 it's 237. Top 10 comic villains humiliated by Joker. Oh, if I was the strongest villain in the world and I got humiliated by him, oh. Honestly, the Joker, meet Darkseid. Darkseid, slap the shit out of him. Fuck, that'd be sick as. Okay. Let's go. The Joker is nothing if not generous with his hatred, and although he reserves plenty for Batman, he's got some to go around for pretty much everyone, even if other villains. Joker... Yeah, I right, so. Maybe the rogues of DC might get along, what with the amount of evil team-ups they've orchestrated over oh, the years. Little, yes. But when the Joker's involved, ain't nobody laughing but the Clown Prince himself. With that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 oh, hi, Will. villains humiliated by the Joker. 10. Maxi Zeus I know It's always it is. interesting to see two villains face off, which we got in Batman Cacophony. At a time when Maxi Zeus and the Joker were fighting for leadership of the criminal underground in Gotham, an attempt by Zeus to talk the Joker into surrendering goes horribly off the rails. Zeus tells Joker if he doesn't give up their quarrel and let him take over, he'll crush him like a bug. In turn, the mm. Joker, who is understandably miffed, attacks not Maxi, but his nephew by blowing oh. up the kid and his what? entire school. Killing kids is nothing new for the Joker, Shit. but even for him, this seems a bit much. It did, however, force Maxi to surrender, which is all Joker wanted in the first place. Nine. That was easy. The Joker loves a good party. In one case, the clown prince of crime decides to throw himself a birthday bash as a present to himself. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> he sends Sorry. his henchmen out to kidnap notable Gothamites who've interfered in his schemes at one time or another. Unfortunately for Selina Kyle, this includes Catwoman. Joker oh. ties his various acquisitions to giant explosive candles in front of a crowd of thousands of people lured into a stadium for a free bakery show. Yeah, the 80s were an odd time for comics. That is Batman arrives time. to be the final candle, Which but as always, ready? outsmarts Imagine. the Joker and frees not only Catwoman, but all the other kidnapped victims. Still, the Joker had Catwoman dead to rights without Batman's intervention. 8. Bane. This no way! The first she of humiliated the Bane. Arkham video games. During the storyline, Joker, under his alias Jack White, had Bane transferred to Arkham from Blackgate Prison. This was all part of a plan to create a newer, stronger version of Bane's Venom called Titan. When Batman first Titan. encounters Bane in the game, he is hanging in chains, withered oh. and helpless. Bane explains that Joker and Dr. Young. Holy shit! They drained him! They fucking drained him! He's. There's a. Mate's doing work. The venom from him. Bane begs Batman to rescue him, but before Bruce can do so, Joker pumps Bane full of Titan, turning him into a mindless brute and causing a major boss fight to ensue. Wasn't he already a mindless brute? Oh. Two old adversaries. Bane is a proud and vain man, constantly displaying both his powerful physique and superior intellect. Wait. To see that the Joker broken down to the point of begging Batman for help is truly a victory for the Batman. A complicated story involving control chips that were supposed to both in September of 19 right. superior intellect. To see that the Joker broken down to the point Wait, of begging so Batman for help is truly a victory for the Madman. Seven Carnage in September. That doesn't make sense. Spider-Man's Marvel, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Of 1995, during a Marvel DC crossover, oh. circumstances brought together. <gasps> we're gonna say that. Oh my god, we're actually gonna say that. Holy shit. We're gonna say that. Oh my god, it actually might happen in future. A movie where Marvel and DC crossover. Superman versus. No one can match Superman. I don't know. The Joker and the homicidal symbiote Carnage. In a complicated story involving control chips that were supposed to both dampen Joker's and Carnage's psychosis, but failed, Spider-Man ends up in Gotham helping Batman. However, Joker quickly realizes that Carnage's brand of mass murder has, in his own words, no style or theater, and he compares the symbiote's work to that of David Hasselhoff. This enrages Carnage, and the Joker then takes his first hit at the monster by sneaking out of their hideout and blowing it to tiny bits, oh. apparently killing the symbiote. What? Later, Carnage, who survived, is preparing a death blow against Batman. Joker once again intervenes, threatening him with Joker toxin, allowing Batman to subdue Carnage and psychologically wear him down back into Cassidy. It was a solid victory for the Joker, who humiliated the upstart symbiote for coming onto the his fuck? home turf. The fuck? Joker's so Six, good! The Riddler. 
The war Jack of jokes and riddles was set during Batman's second year as a crime fighter. Essentially, across six issues, the Riddler and the Joker go to war over who has the right to kill Batman, forcing the rest of Batman's rogues gallery to choose a side. The finale of the series involves Joker, Riddler, Batman, and Kite Man finally sorting out who's won. Kite Man. With the Riddler having lost his allies and then being beaten up kill by Kite Man, it's a pretty clear victory to the Joker. Joker then takes it one step further after Bruce is willing to kill the Riddler for all he's done and saves his life too, showing him that he's not even worthy of being Batman's first kill. Aye. Five, Poison Ivy. Throughout season one of Poison the excellent Ivy's Harley hot. Quinn show, Poison Ivy grows increasingly aware that despite her relationship hot. with Kite Man, she is falling in love with Harley. Harley, for her part, he's gay, never mind, never mind, is fighting the I same growing feelings, all of which Joker knows. This culminates in the second to last episode of the first season. During a battle against the Joker, he forces a giant ivy to go against everything she stands for by killing dozens of sentient trees who are attacking Gotham Park. After Damn. the battle with our heroes- <gasps> Sharkman! Oh, he's in it. That's sick. Appearing to have won the day, Joker allows Harley and Ivy one moment of togetherness and reconciliation before harpooning Ivy through the chest with a giant spear. Oh, Ooh. shit. Four, Red Skull. Red Skull. He's Marvel too. Oh, Captain America and Batman. Oh, we can't say that. Oh, okay. Another gem from a Marvel DC crossover, this was a wonderful story set during World War II, when Captain America and Batman teamed up to take on the Nazis in general and the team of Joker and the Red Skull specifically. However, there comes a little twist in the tale. The Joker, who believed the Red Skull to be just another costume villain, is appalled when he learns that he's been working with a Nazi. As he says, I may be a criminal lunatic, but I'm an American criminal lunatic. Joker then helps our yeah, heroes sabotage the Skull's plans and fail his mission in spectacular fashion. Three, Lex Luthor. He's not even Nazi, he's a Hydra. He's Hydra. He doesn't... Yeah, same thing, basically. In the DCAU series of episodes called World's Finest, Joker and Luther team up to take on Batman and Superman. After a series of misadventures, Luther predictably double-crosses Joker and threatens to kill both him and Harley. Joker manages to turn the tables and capture Lex and his assistant Mercy before telling Lex he's going to take his revenge by destroying both LexCorp and Metropolis. Much to Lex's annoyance, oh. he is rescued by the heroes, loses an airship, Bruce terminates a multi-billion dollar partnership with Lex, and on top of all that, the Joker gets away. 2. Oh. Black Mask Batman Under the Red Hood is a solid retelling of the story of Jason Todd's death and subsequent rebirth. Oh, that was sad. Nah, that was cool. One of I the central know. pieces of the story is that Red Hood is warring with another member of Batman's rogues gallery. That's Red Sky. Black Mask. Oh, Black Mask. Oh, he's on, um, he was on a Mask suicide squad, wasn't so he? He's so desperate that he brings yeah, he Joker out of Arkham and pays him to stop the Red Hood. Even after Joker immediately kills four of Mask's henchmen right in front of him, he doesn't see a problem with teaming up with the Joker. A costly mistake. In short Idiot. order, Joker betrayed Black Mask and his henchmen, playing them for complete fools. Oh, he almost kills on him. them and admits to only using them to draw out or Red Hood on him. and Batman. One, Harley Quinn. Dumb, oh sir. man, that where it? do we even start? The Joker and Harley Quinn's dysfunctional relationship has been a hallmark of their stories since Harley was introduced in the DCAU in 1992, which makes it all the sadder that the Joker has endlessly tormented Harley for the simple act of loving him. That's there called rape. There is an endless Joke's list of rape. terrible things Joker has done to Harley, but suffice it to say that there's barely a crime in existence he hasn't committed against her, murder included. But oh, shit, I remember part of all is that every time, almost without fail, Harley returns to her pudding, only for the cycle to repeat itself all over again. Yeah, because... Harley has I don't recently know broken free of the Joker in numerous adaptations and revisions on the character, but the specter of his influence over her life will never leave. More than anyone in DC Comics, more even the Batman, Harley Quinn is the person the Joker has damaged the most. And they You didn't say humiliated. But okay. Well, that was fun. Gotta go.